Hello all. My name is Gustavo Quintero, and I am a postdoctoral fellow at the Cogot Institute, the Department of Hispanic Studies and the Center of Latin American and Caribbean Studies. My research is concerned with the aftermath of revolutions in Latin America, but it focuses on a pressing question, how to maintain a sense of hope during dire times. My book, argues that to revisit Latin American revolution entails an analysis of aesthetic products and how this played a decisive role in delineating and spreading a sense of hope related to collective upheavals. I read a number of novels, photographs, and experimental videos from three regions, Cuba, Colombia, and Mexico. And I explore how these created an image of the future as a realm of action and possibility. For instance, in Mexico, I focus on the photographs by Juan Rulfo, one of the most important writers in Latin America. His photographs on railroad are, are um, understudied, and yet they show a conception of the Mexican revolution in terms of progress. I argue that they show how trains created a social perception of time based on transportation, connectivity, and migration. Allow me to share with you some of those photographs. Rulf photographer displays of an alternate version of revolutionary dreams, those of the institutional revolutionary party as a political organization that appropriated the collective uprising of the Mexican Revolution in order to remain in power for more than 70 years. So here in these photographs, Rufo presents the modernization of this institutionalized revolution. We have here the railroads that would delimit a certain sense of time and of duration, and also a circulation of people that would cr create the basis of Mexican politics till 2000. So how does Rulfo present the dreams of modernization of this institutionalized revolution here? What kind of vision for the future do these photographs reveal through their focus on trains? What hopes about revolutionary times and mobilities do these images show? These are the questions that I explore in my research. Thank you so much.